بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء وإمام المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى أهله وصحبه وسلم وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Let me start by first wishing each and every one of us Ramadan Mubarak. We pray that may Allah accept from all of us our good deeds in this blessed month of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, Allah has spared us again to find ourselves in this beautiful, beautiful month, the month of the Quran, the month of Maghfirah, forgiveness, and the month in which we all seek to gain salvation from the fire by the help of Allah, by the will of Allah. I pray that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala count us all amongst those that will earn his mercy for dunya wal akhirah. Um, Alhamdulillah, as has been the tradition in the masjid, the five minutes talk, and inshallah this year we will still continue with this. But this year we will be taking a different theme. The theme for this year's five minutes inshallah is coping with trials or facing trials. As we all know, each and every one of us here, Allah has promised that we will all face one trial or the other. And there is nobody that is in this hall or in this masjid or in any part of the world that is not facing one trial or the other. It could be the trial in your families. It could be the trial of wealth. It could be the trial of losing a loved one, whether a son or a daughter or a father or a mother or a wife. It could be the trial of having been betrayed by a loved one, someone that was close to you, someone you had in, or you held in very high esteem, but they will be the ones to betray you, like the narration of Nabi Yusuf and his brothers. It could be the trial of wealth and it could be the trial of poverty. It could be the trial of having children and the trial of also and also the trial of not having children. These are all trials that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at different times in different intervals allows or puts any of us to go through in order to test our faith. And so this theme, inshallah, or this year's theme is how do we cope with these trials? We're all facing them, right? If it's not all of these things I have mentioned, it could be the trial of even the kidnapping, the increase in kidnaps that we find on the roads or armed robberies or murder. These are all trials we're facing. Um, inshallah, before continuing, I want to just ask our brothers that are seated by the windows, please just open it. The masjid is a bit hot and I know we're all coping, alhamdulillah. But if we can all just open the windows, inshallah, it will make it easier and better. Oh, to close the windows. Oh, okay, sorry. It's, uh, it's to close the windows. The ACs are working, but it's to close the windows. Or oh, they're not? Okay, it seems most people seem to be complaining. Okay, wherever it is hot, just open the windows. And if it is cool, um, as I was saying, regarding coping with trials, I was going to go or start with the very first thing, and which is what we heard from the Imam when he recited in the fourth verse, or in the fourth rakah, Surah Al-Baqarah. And he was reciting, talking about the trial. One of the very first trials that I would describe is the trial of sin. Each and every one of us here has committed one sin or the other that we are not proud of. One sin that has made us feel that we are distant or draws us or takes us further away from Allah. And this is similar to what happened with Nabi Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. Nabi Adam alayhi salatu wasalam was created by Allah azza wa jal and given five favors. Allah bestowed five favors upon Adam. What were these favors? The first was Allah created him with his own hands. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states that he created Nabi Adam with his own hands. And the verse that we find for this is in Surah Al-Sad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, um, وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْلِيسُ مَا مَنَعَكَ أَن تَسْجُدَ لِمَا خَلَقْتُ بِيَدَيْ And O oh, Iblis, why do you not bow down to the one I have created with my hands? How are the hands of Allah? None of us here knows it, none of us has seen it. But Allah testifies. This is one of the sifat of Allah that he created with his hands. The second, Allah blew into Nabi Adam his ruh. And when I have shaped him, I will blow into him of my ruh. The third favor was that Allah placed Adam in Jannah and his spouse. Right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Nabi Adam, وَيَا Adam muskun anta jannah min haythu shi'tuma. And Allah placed Adam and his wife Hawa in Jannah to reside and to enjoy of everything in Jannah. Then Allah taught Adam the names of everything. وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا Allah taught Adam the names of everything. And finally, Allah asked the angels to bow down to Adam. وَإِذْ قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ اسْجُدُوا لِآدَمْ فَسَجَدُوا 
these were the five favors that Allah gave or bestowed upon Adam. But yet, Adam, Adam disobeyed Allah in one command. One command. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took Nabi Adam alayhi salatu wa salam from Jannah and all of these favors were taken away from him. Did that make Adam despair? Did it make him feel like he could never win again with Allah? He could never draw closer to Allah? No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him toil and Adam repented and Allah accepted his repentance. And later, as we would learn in the very same surah, in the same rakah that was recited by the Imam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals that he forgave and, re and accepted the tawbah, the, pen the repentance of Adam alayhi salatu was salam. This is what signifies Ramadan for us as believers. This is the month that the sinner feels that he can become a saint. The sinner has hope that he will draw closer to Allah. Whether they committed zina, whether they committed, they drank alcohol, sharabul khamr, whether it was that they were disrespectful to their parents or they committed whatever sin, when Ramadan comes, it is significant to the one or it gives hope to the one that feels they are lost. Allah will surely guide them back. So my dear brothers, we are all guilty of this and we all pray to Allah to accept our repentance. And the same, the ayah has given us or the same surah has given us that hope that when we turn to Allah as Nabi Adam turned to Allah, inshallah, Allah will surely accept our repentance. My five minutes is over. Aquli kawli hadha wa astaghfirullahu wa lakum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.